So the Lakers pull off a surprising trade by trading for Rui Hachimura. Now, everyone knew that this guy was on the trade market for a couple months now. I mean, just recently, there was an interview that I remember. An interview or a reporter asked Rui Hachimura if he asked for a trade and he said no comment. So, I mean, I think that was pretty much a hint that he was on the way out. So I see this as a pretty big W for the, for the Los Angeles Lakers. I mean, they've been on and off and they definitely needed a forward like Rui Hachimura. I mean, a guy that can put the ball in the hoop and can play some pretty good, yeah, pretty good defense. So we're going to talk about Rui Hachimura to the Los Angeles Lakers talking about the trade and who won the trade overall. So we'll get into it. So the trade was the Wizards trading Rui Hachimura to the Lakers for Kendrick Nunn and three second round picks. So We'll talk about the Lakers side of things first, because I think they won this trade first and foremost. So they trade Kendrick Nunn and three second round picks. So first of all, they don't trade any of their first round picks that in that were in 2025 or 2026. I think that's their latest first round picks, I want to say. So uh, that's good. First and foremost, I mean, they get a, a young guy in Rui Hachimura. He's only 24 years old. So adding to the young core for the Lakers is good because with LeBron turning 38, 39 years old. So I mean, they're going to need some young guys on the court. And Rui Hachimura can definitely be one of those guys in the rotation. I mean, he definitely can slot into the four, the three. I mean, with Anthony Davis coming back, I definitely see Davis at the five and then LeBron at the four and then Rui Hachimura at the three. I think that would be pretty great. And, you know, looking at Rui's stats, 13 points per game, four rebounds and around one assist on around 49% from the field and 34% from three. I think he definitely has potential to become a pretty good player for this Lakers team. I mean, they definitely need a lot of help. And with this acquisition, I mean, he definitely could pretty much break out with the Lakers. Because with the Wizards, I mean, there was Kyle Kuzma. There was Daniel Gafford. There were a lot of just forwards on the team. Denny Avdia that were holding Rui Hachimura back and coming to the Lakers that don't really have too many forwards that can play over him. I definitely see it as a huge W. So... Looking at the Wizards side of things. So, yeah, they acquire Kendrick Nunn and three second round picks. So, the three second round picks are actually not too bad. I mean, acquiring a first round pick would have been great. But you can take any picks because the Wizards, they're not looking too great right now. If I actually look at their stat or their season overall, they are 20 and 26. So, they could decide to blow it up. And, I mean, getting some picks in return for one of your young players is not bad. So... And getting Kendrick Nunn, he definitely could be something interesting. I mean, over the season, seven points, one rebound, and one assist. He hasn't been playing too well, but I mean, in the last 10 games, 11 points and two rebounds on 48 from the field and 35 from three. He'd keep, I think he could be like a good six man. I mean, nothing too special for the Wizards in terms of him playing on them. But I mean, they do have Monte Morris. They have, I think they have DeLon Wright on that team, right? Or DeLon Wright's on the, the, Wiz, or, uh, the Hawks. Uh, if I look at the roster overall, they should uh, have some guards on that team already. So, yeah, they have Monte Morris. They have Will Barton. Yeah, that's the guy I was thinking of, Johnny Davis already. So, I mean, I don't know where Kendrick Nunn slots into. They could probably flip him for something else. But, I mean, I, I like it. Kendrick Nunn, he could prove to be maybe an okay guy if he starts to get his season back up. But, I mean, nothing too special here. He's already 27 years old, too. So, I mean, he could either break out. Or he can ever he can either be out of the league. I mean, we'll see what happens there. But I mean, I see this as a huge W for the Lakers. They get a good wing for the Lakers. They get a good wing that can shoot the ball, some that can play defense and can slot right into the three. For the Wizards, they get three second round picks and basically just a role player. So you guys can let me know what you guys think about this trade. Do you guys think the Lakers won? Do you guys think the Wizards won? That's the end. I'm out.